Hey, welcome to day 135, Copy with Kenny. And for Clarence, who always says, you forget to talk about your Robinson R22 and R44 and Enstrom specific training. I'm gonna mention that real quick, then we're gonna go outside and look at the trim motors on a helicopter for a member who said, hey, Kenny, could you do a video on trim? And we have a video inside the, uh, the Enstrom section. But first, I wanna point out for Clarence, he's always mentioning, Kenny, you never talk about this. So here you go. This comes along with the private pilot or the commercial pilot or the CFI. You have access to this. We used to sell these separately, but they're now included. Whether it's the monthly or the yearly or the big professional pilot. So you got Robinson R22 specific training, Robinson R44 specific training, both a product with the private pilot. And as I mentioned, commercial and CFI. And then there's the Enstrom specific section. So you get those with your membership, private, commercial, or CFI. And for those that don't know, when you log out and you come back into the log into Helicopter Line Ground School, you'll see this. Resume course. You can pick up wherever you left off last time you were within the site. So I'm gonna roll this video for you first, which explains a little bit about how you use the trim and how difficult it is to get people to use the trim. And real quickly, you can see over here how you go video to video shows you the past video with the next video coming up. So I'm gonna roll that video for you while I head out to the helicopter to show you the trim motors. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the trim hat on the Cyclic and the Enstrom. Starting from scratch, when you have somebody brand new, in the first few hours, it's very hard to get a student to use this trim hat. So in the very beginning, if you're not using it right off the bat, don't worry about it. But as soon as you start kind of getting comfortable with the controls, starting to learn to hover, the sooner you can get somebody using this trim hat, the better off you'll be. And I can remember when I started in Enstrom's a long time ago, the guy I was working for said, the guy I was working for said, you need to be trimming this thing all the time. Trim, 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 trimming on takeoff, trimming on landing, just trimming all the time. And that's really true. Once you get the, the fill of the trim, it makes this Enstrom so absolutely easy to fly. You'll battle this thing without the trim hat, without using the trim, and it'll wear your arm out. You learn to use this trim, it makes life so much easier. So the sooner you can master this thing, the better off you're gonna be. And I found over the years, it's kind of hard to teach people how to use the trim button. I mean, you can explain it to them, the simple, you know, if you feel pressure, if the cyclic's moving to the right, you keep feeling like you're pushing cyclic to the left to counteract that, you trim towards the pressure. So if, it, if it's pushing, Cyclic's moving to the right and you feel like your hand is going to the, cyclic's going to the right and your hand, you're, you're pushing to the left, trim towards that pressure and that will relieve the pressure. So it works in all four directions, forwards, backwards, and sideways. The more you use this thing, the better off you're gonna be and the easier this thing is to fly. I can tell you, I can take an Enstrom all the way around the pattern and pretty much just after I, after takeoff, I can take all my hands off the controls, the pedals, the collective. Don't recommend anybody doing this, but I can do it. And I can fly almost the entire pattern with only making a couple collective changes and only making a few changes with the trim. You can fly this thing all the way around the whole entire pattern with just a trim. So remember, trim, 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 and more trim. All right, I'm gonna flip the battery on, do this quickly. Master on, trim motors are on. So there's motors down underneath the seat. Okay, so if I wanna trim this to the right, see how that's moving? Okay, that's what's going on. These trim motors are actually pushing that cyclic. I'm over-exaggerating here. I'm not gonna do it quite that much when we're actually flying, but you're normally just a quick bump. So again, the trim motors are under the seat, and as you move that trim hat, it's actuating those motors. All right, now I wanna show you something. I found in just one of my videos, watch my thumb here. You're gonna see how much I'm trimming. In a video when I'm doing, talking about radio traffic, I'm not even talking about trim. And you're gonna see here how much I'm using my thumb to trim especially in the turn when I get the wind behind me. See, so I'm trimming, not even thinking about it. I'm thinking more about the turn, clearing my tail, messing with the wind. When the wind's behind me, I'm trimming the whole time. 
So they're just an example of how you're using that trim and how you should be using the trim. You should be using that trim all the time. I just like that little clip because it's just a spot where I'm talking and looking around, not even thinking about the trim. So yeah, I just wanted to use that clip for you so you could see if, if I was going out and trying to show you and make a video, it would be, I would probably do, uh, overdo it, right? I just want to show you a clip of how you're always trimming. You always should be. So if you're flying a helicopter with that trim, and, and it's, it is amazing when you start teaching someone, you show them, you tell them, you tell them to put your thumb on there, you say trim, left, right, and you're telling them to do it. And 30 seconds later, you look over, thumbs not even on the trim. Very hard to get people to do that. So that's what trim's about. You should always be trimming. Trim, trim, trim. Trimming all the time. It makes things easier. It just makes flying that helicopter a whole lot easier. Um, welcome to, again, day 135. Get ready for day 136. I am Kenny Keller, creator of Helicopter Line Ground School. There's a link down below. You can take our entire site for a 24-hour test flight. Now you've seen the private uh, or you've seen the R-22, the R-44, and the instrument specific sections. Almost never talk about those, and in 135 days, Clarence keeps going, dude, you never tell anybody about your aircraft specific sections. Bad marketer for my own business, I guess, sometimes. We created those because, like, going through, let's say, the private course, so much of what you have to know is knowledge that's not really aircraft specific, okay? So the private pilot course is private pilot information, things you need to know. Then you can go to the R-22, the R-44, or the instrument section for helicopter specific stuff for those aircraft. You know, we have videos, we have audio files, and people use these to help learn emergency procedures, learn pre-flights, learn specifics of the aircraft, which in turn helps build your confidence for that check ride, which is what you're after, right? You're after the day of the test. So, 24-hour test flight, you can go in, you can see the whole private pilot membership, for example, and you can take a look at the whole R-22 or the R-44 or the instrument sections. 24 hours cost you nothing. Keep the training, or before that end of the 24 hours, remove your credit card, information from within the Helicopter Line Ground School site, or end your subscription in PayPal. It's that easy, it's that simple. We part as friends, you're welcome back anytime. You can use the training as long as you might need to. You can leave. You can come back anytime. Always part as friends, regardless. Helicopter check ride down below. We bought them for you. Amazon number one bestseller. We ship them to you for just shipping and handling. Top 10 check ride tips. Link below for that too. Co-authored with 2018 Flight Instructor of the Year, Dan Taz Christman. We did this book together. Great book. Our top 10 check ride tips. Dan went out and talked to Vegas examiners and said, what are people screwing up as of now? What are the problems when people show up to check rides? So this part of the bonus section is current. The rest of the book is our 20 years of experience combined two of us, that's 40 years of experience of things we've seen sending people for check rides. Dan added the what's current now. And he talked to, I think, three different examiners in the Las Vegas area. And Dan is a double I. And in airplanes and helicopters. So he's given check rides across the board, not just helicopter specific. Again, thanks for tuning in. Leave your comments down below. We'd love to hear your feedback on anything. Put it down below. We answer questions every day, flight training, ground training, careers, uh, stories, good and bad, uplifting, motivational things, uh, anything and everything under the sun. So subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified of the daily video. Please give us a thumbs up. If you like the video, if you dislike the video, hit the dislike button twice just to make sure we, we get that message. All right, we'll see you on day 136. Thanks, everybody. Still having a blast. See you tomorrow.